Okay, in this video, we're going to go over another inscribed quadrilateral and show how to solve for the angles that are inside the quadrilateral as well as the arcs that are in the circumference of the circle. Now, when I approach a problem like this, I think of a couple things. I, I ask myself, what do I know about quadrilaterals that are inscribed? Okay, and I know a couple things. I know that, for example, opposite angles are supplementary. So I'm just going to keep that at the top of my thoughts. Opposite angles in an inscribed. Now remember, it has to be inscribed, not just any quadrilateral, but an inscribed quadrilateral are supplementary. Now remember what that means. They add up to 180 degrees, right? Supplementary. Okay, so that's one thing I know. The other thing that I also keep in mind is that I know that the circumference of a total circle are uh, equal to 360 degrees, right? So circle 360 degrees. So with that in mind, I can actually, st and oh, oh, by the way, I also know that an inscribed quadrilateral are a series of inscribed angles. And inscribed angles are always equal to one half of the intercepted arc. Okay, let me just write that down. I'm not going off the page there a little bit. There we go. Sorry about that. All right, so again, opposite angles in an inscribed quadrilateral are always supplementary, so that's one thing I'm going to pay attention to. Circles 360 degrees, and the inscribed angles of the quadrilateral, of the quadrilateral are always equal to one half the in, uh, intercepted arc. Okay, so let's just go ahead and see what we can find. So the first thing we're asked to find is BC, arc B to C. And I noticed that that's the only part of the whole circumference that is missing. So I'm going to use this piece of information to solve for that. So I'm going to say it's going to be equal to, and let's just go over here and just do some of the work. Okay, there we go. I know that 154 degrees plus 100 degrees plus 76 degrees plus the part that I don't know should be equal to 360 degrees. Okay. And that is going to be equal to 330 degrees plus X is equal to 360. Subtract 330. X is going to be equal to 30 degrees. So there's my answer for arc BC. Okay, so that's the first piece. Sorry, I keep writing off the page there. That's the first piece of information. Let's see if I can do, now that I have every single arc, let's see if I can do the second uh, problem here, which is angle C, D, E. C, D, E. So I'm really looking for this angle here. Now remember what I just said, opposite... Uh, or inscribed angles equal one half of the intercepted arc. So if I go out to here, and I go out to here, the intercepted arc is C, E. So I'm going to say angle C, D, E is equal to one half C all the way to E. Okay, now C all the way to E is 30 plus 76. So that's going to be 1 half 30 plus 76, 1 half 106 degrees, and that's going to be equal to 53 degrees. So angle CDE is 53 degrees. 
Now, again, I know that this is supplementary. So I'm going to go CBE, which is the next one. Number three. I'm going to take, let me just write this in real quick. CBE. Supplementary to <coughs> CDE. So I'm going to say 180 minus 53 degrees. And that's going to be equal to, let me just see, it's going to be 127, I believe. Yeah. There we go. So I know that this is 127 degrees. Okay. See how we're building on previous information and just everything I know about inscribed angles and quadrilaterals, etc. BED, that's right here. BED, so this angle again is one half of BCD, arc BCD. So let me just write that up. Angle BED is one half arc B C D. Now, notice I use three letters here and only two here. Why? Remember that a major arc is over 180 degrees, which looks like this one's going to be. A minor arc is under 180 degrees, which this one was. Okay, so remember the difference between the two. It just so happens that BCD is going to be 30 plus 154. So one half, 30 plus 154 is 184, which is 92 degrees. So this is 92 degrees here, and the opposite angle is going to end up being supplementary, which is angle, let me just put that in there. So angle BCD is going to be equal to 180 minus the 92 or 88 degrees. Okay, so again, let's just go over that real quickly. How did I do this? I, first of all, I just looked at the problem. I tried to remember everything I could about an inscribed quadrilateral and circles. Made sure I remembered all these formulas. And then I just started building my answers one after another. Okay, hope that was helpful.